Welcome back to another video from PM Problems, the site dedicated to project management, construction management, and workplace topics. If you love that stuff too, be sure to check out our website at solvepmproblems.com for tons of free articles, downloads, and more. Now, let's get into today's topic. <coughs> Trust is a vital aspect of any relationship. This applies to our family, our friends, our romantic partners, and our coworkers alike. Just like our family and romantic partners, we must see our coworkers for an extended amount of time each and every day. In fact, many of us spend more waking hours with our coworkers than we do with our family. When we have great coworkers that we can trust, this doesn't seem nearly as harsh as it sounds. But what happens when we can't trust our coworkers? It could be something they've done, rumors we hear, or just our gut feeling. Regardless, a situation like this puts a tremendous strain on our work life. Let's go through five telltale signs that you can't trust a coworker, along with what you should or should not do about it. Before we talk about how to handle an untrusty coworker, let's first describe how an untrusty coworker typically behaves. This list isn't exclusive, nor is it perfect, but these give you a pretty good idea as to how much you can actually trust this person. You catch a coworker blatantly lie. Unless there's a really good explanation for why they lied, this is the most obvious sign you cannot trust them. You confide in your coworker only for them to share your story with others. In this instance, they're more interested in gossip than your friendship. They don't keep promises. Whether it's for something small or big, a coworker that breaks promises cannot be trusted. They love drama. It's tough to trust someone who wants to gossip all the time. If they talk about others to you, they'll talk about you to others. And lastly, be on the lookout for manipulative personalities. If you observe your coworker trying to trick or manipulate others, it's best not to trust them. Now that we've covered the basics of how an untrustworthy coworker acts, here are some ways to deal with them. Keep it professional. While we may harbor contempt for our coworker, it doesn't mean we need to make it personal at work. Instead, we should focus on actually working with our coworker, the same way we would if another person was in their position. Communicating with hostility will not only make your personal working relationship worse, but it may affect the quality of your work as a whole. Of course, this also ensures that you remain positive and professional in the eyes of everyone else. Do not reveal personal details. When we say keep it professional, we mean strictly professional. If you have even an inkling of doubt as to whether or not you could trust that coworker, don't reveal any personal information. This includes keeping your opinions to yourself about other coworkers, as well as not revealing anything personal about yourself. The less these types of people know about you, the less they can use against you later. Set specific deadlines, goals, and expectations. When thinking about how to deal with a coworker you don't trust, it's important to consider whether this person can even do their job effectively. Here are three questions to ponder. Are they unreliable? Do they make excuses? And are they quick to point the finger? If the answer is yes to any of the above, it's time to get very specific about what work needs to be done, particularly if you're managing or working closely with this person. This includes how to do the work and when it must be completed by. The earlier and clearer these expectations are defined, ideally in writing, the less room this untrusty coworker has to wiggle, shift blame, or get out of their responsibility later. This goes for any type of project at work or task you need to collaborate on. The more you document, the less gray area remains for them to utilize. Don't let things slide for too long. Take action. When a coworker breaks our trust, betrays us, or commits some other transgression, we must nip it in the bud in that moment. All actions have consequences, and sometimes we must be the consequences that our coworker must face. I recommend sticking with the truth and call out your coworker for what they did, if possible. Depending on the situation and the level of betrayal, it's ultimately up to you if you want to do this in private, in front of others, or in writing. In these exchanges, I recommend letting them know that you'll take further action if required, be it speaking with management or something similar. Despite the fact that confrontations aren't comfortable, the alternative of not dealing with your coworker will be much worse. Keep excellent records. Speaking of documentation, it's important to document as much of your day-to-day -day work as possible. So how is this done? Distribute a status update of your to-do list to teammates and managers. Record and issue minutes following all meetings. And lastly, follow up sensitive conversations with a written email summary. These are just a few examples of ways you can document a fair portion of your day-to-day -day work experience in a functional way. In terms of dealing with a coworker you don't trust, you'll have peace of mind that the actual work taking place is well documented. There will be a lot less room for them to manipulate or sneak around when operating this way. Do not react to them emotionally. Highly manipulative people use emotions to steer things in the direction they want. This applies to feigning their own emotions, as well as preying on the emotions of others. And it can be shocking just how subtle some of these indicators can be. A single comment they make towards you may seem harmless to bystanders, but it has just the hint of passive aggressiveness to it that only you can detect. You may find this coworker agreeing with you on many things in private, but blatantly disagree with you when others are around. 
There's an infinite number of examples we could come up with, but here are just a few more common ones. Fishing for sympathy to divert accountability after doing something wrong. Trying to stifle your happiness with their own negativity or criticism. Acting hypocritically by not reciprocating favors, going against their word, or other similar actions. While it's extremely hard at times, the best thing to do is to stay right and neutral, totally indifferent. People like this depend on you reacting emotionally. By staying neutral and not playing their covert game, their efforts won't work, and you won't give them any satisfaction by responding emotionally. In fact, they'll likely only hurt themselves. Dealing with an untrustworthy coworker will never be easy, no matter how much we learn. By following the tips we discussed and watching for those subtle signs, you'll be one step ahead of the untrusty coworkers in your midst, and you'll stay on the right side of most situations. I hope this has been helpful. For more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe to stay in touch. You can also head over to our website at solvepmproblems.com for tons of free articles, downloads, and more. Just click the link in the description below. Until next time, this is PM Problems signing off.